So what I do is right now I'm actually clearing apocalyptic timelines so that they don't happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's what well, I've been you, doing. Thank you for your work. <laughs> <laughs> So you mean you're, you're, you're saving Starbucks for me? Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's um, what I've been doing in the past few weeks. They've been um, sending me apocalyptic timelines to clear um, in the astral space. So there is no limitation of time there. So everything can be cleared very instantly and quickly. Um, I tend to, I don't really go into Earth timelines that much because there are so many. And um, it's such kind of like a, a, it can be a very polarizing subject. I try to stay away from polarizing information. So what I'll do is I'll go into specific timelines for my clients um, or, you know, on a collective level to see um, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of like the direction that I go down. I believe that all the timelines are possible and already existing. It's just a matter sure. of learning to align with it. Um, yep. Do you know what I mean? But from, yep. from an Earth perspective, I would say, yeah, like I've been clearing quite a lot of apocalyptic timeline. Um, I do believe that there's going to be some kind of um, economic restructuring and redistribution of wealth. Um, and whatnot. So that in a positive way. Mm. Um, I do think that a lot of people are actually going through taking, um, how can you say, a, a kind of like exit points. So a lot of souls are choosing to leave at this time and they're either choosing to reincarnate back um, as children or to help from the other side. Um, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I've had in my personal um, life, even in the just in the few last few months, I've had people like my age or young, you know, just like die and leave um, because they don't really want to be here as per contract for the awakening. So that's something that's been happening um, on a collective level.